ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਜੀ ਮੈਂ ਅਮਨਦੀਪ ਸਿੰਘ ਪਿਰਾਮਿਡ ਈ ਸਰਵਿਸਿਜ਼ ਦੇ ਫੇਸਬੁੱਕ ਲਾਈਵ ਦੇ ਮਾਧਿਅਮ ਰਾਹੀਂ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰੀ ਫੇਰ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਨਾਲ ਰੂਬਰੂ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਹਾਂ ਹਾਈ ਗੁੱਡ ਮਾਰਨਿੰਗ ਗੁੱਡ ਈਵਨਿੰਗ ਗੁੱਡ ਆਫਟਰਨੂਨ ਟੂ 올 ਦ ਵਿਊਅਰਸ ਹੂ ਆਰ ਵਾਚਿੰਗ ਅਸ ਲਾਈਵ ਥਰੂ ਅ ਫੇਸਬੁੱਕ ਪਲੈਟਫਾਰਮ ਆਫ ਪਿਰਾਮਿਡ ਈ ਸਰਵਿਸਿਜ਼ ਆਈ ਹੋਪ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਕੀਪਿੰਗ ਸੇਫ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਵੈਲ ਵਿਦ ਯੂਰ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਐਂਡ ਯੂਰ ਲਵਡ ਵਨਸ ਐਟ ਯੂਰ ਹੋਮ ਐਜ਼ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਸੀ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਆਲਸੋ ਐਟ ਮਾਈ ਹੋਮ ਰਾਈਟ ਨਾਊ ਵਰਕਿੰਗ ਫ੍ਰਮ ਹੋਮ ਇਨਸ਼ੋਰਿੰਗ ਥੈਟ 올 ਦ ਰੂਲਸ ਐਂਡ ਰੈਗੂਲੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਸੈਟ ਬਾਈ ਦ ਸਟੇਟ ਐਂਡ ਸੈਂਟਰਲ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਆਰ ਫੋਲੋਡ ਆਊਟ as we have started the trend of bringing in our and you do our university and college partners on our facebook live platform so that you while sitting at your home can understand and know about the different universities and colleges and understand about your eligibility for those colleges and universities so continuing that trend i am really honored and happy to welcome another prominent partner of pyramid e services and this time it's one of a very special partner because as you know when we talk about great life it's europe as we know and we all talk about happiness it's europe so today we have one special country a special partner france and i'm sure this puts a smile on your face because when we say france france paris great weather great education comes to our mind and schema business school is a top notch school which which brings in that to your life and not taking much time i would like to introduce and welcome dharni malhotra who represents schema business school and is partner of pyramid e services so dharni how are you doing uh first of all very good afternoon and hello to everyone and uh, avandeep thank you so much for inviting uh i am the country manager india for schema business school and i am very happy to be associated today with this initiative that has been taken by e pyramid service and amandeep yes i am doing fine and uh, just just at home and working from home so yeah right right so we all are working from home and these tough times have brought our lives in such a way that social media digital media zoom has become a very prominent part of life of so of, of every single individual so you know talking about the the elephant in the room and the major crisis which is across the globe that is covid 19 this has impacted us in a way which we have never thought of so uh, how is how is the situation in france right now how are things you know being handled in france france right now and how 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 france is looking at the students from india for for education can you shed some light on that okay so coming to the education part the ministry of uh, france in india also has already announced uh, and the external ministry in france has already announced that they would be welcoming the indian students to france because you know it's very important uh, the country the two countries have bilateral trade agreements between right. each other for a very long time so right. garnering those relationships um the announcement has already been made that you know the students community will be very much welcomed so one good news for all of you uh coming to the aspect of how france is coping up with the covid as per as per the last update that i had from schema business school and the conversation that i had with the core team at the school uh the each and every citizen of france will be vaccinated uh, by the end of june and uh, definitely little bit of uh, life will be back to normal after june onwards in france and right. uh, as of now they also have curfew hours of course and you know they all are following it uh, very thoroughly but uh, you know they are taking equal measures uh, you know to stay at home and uh, you know alternatively if uh, you know there is a emergency needed to go to office so then there are passes issued it's the same way but it's just that it's little disciplined in terms of following the rules and regulations over there so that the economy gets uh, stable little faster that is what each and every citizen wants over there so that's the situation right right so it it's great to know that you know france is welcoming the students from india and also um, the way you told about the situation in france the cases are also decreasing and things are getting a little better day by day and we are hoping that things get to a you know perfect note at at as as they were as they were before but uh talking about the current situation you know uh, it's it, uh, for the viewers it's a great thing to you know share with you that you can travel to france right away if you want to and uh, you know obviously after getting your visa but but uh, you know talking about the current restrictions like you know uh, the embassies are closed 
at quite a few places. VFS offices are closed at quite a few places because of the lockdown in India, primarily in Delhi. So what do you suggest how that should be tackled by the students uh, that are in India? See, uh, currently what I would suggest is anyways, when it comes to the visa of France, uh, the process is in, divided into two parts. One is to go through, firstly, go through the campus France uh, in your local city. And uh, there, that is where your documents are scrutinized and uh, you know, checked by the campus France managers. Then they give you a validation of NOC. Uh, after receiving your NOC, you go and file your application to VFS. So uh, the campus France process have already started where they've started taking the interviews of the candidates. Uh, of course, it's uh, online as of now and there is nothing, uh, you know, or one on one like it used to happen previously so definitely the steps have been taken and uh, like always the student visa for france always starts three months before the departure so more or less from what updates we have got from the embassy in last few days is that it will start but we don't know when it may be in a couple of weeks, like by the mid-June or something, there would be the VFS process will also start. So let's just clear one aspect of, uh, you know, the campus France interview. And as soon as the VFS will reopen, depending on the situation, the students can take the appointments and start filing their uh, respective visas. So there is there is a movement that is happening. But uh, it's always, uh, you know, as per the situation, they are just on wait and watch. And depending on each and every city, like in Mumbai, the lockdown is until 1st of yeah. uh, June. So yeah. it depends on city-wise that the decision would be uh, taken. So, you know, it's just that student needs to be a little uh, supportive in this matter and just not keep, you know, sorry with the word, but cribbing about it that, oh, I have to file the visa, oh, I have to file the visa. But there is a support which... They will definitely get provided you know there is a give and take of little bit of uh, support from each other right. so that's right. that's how the next process is going on in terms of the visa application uh, where the embassy will surely uh, have some positive uh, response of opening up but we still are not sure on the exact date and time as of now Right, right. Thank you. Thank you so much for, uh, you know, sharing these aspects, Dharni. But, but you know, I, th there's one very valuable point that you have mentioned that at least you can clear all your, uh, you know, documentation okay. process or yeah. your interview with the college, right? You can apply at Schema Business School. You can get your processes completed and, 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 and that, that would, that would help us to at least make sure that your, your, you know, uh, you have initiated the process and once all the things are getting intact and things are coming in line, you would be able to apply, for, you know, for the visa through the VFS and embassy, right? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Perfect. So just to, you know, just to continue more about our discussion, can you, can you, you know, talk about how, how the sh student should perceive uh, uh, the, about the online classes mode or in person mode? What are your thoughts on that? Because there's a lot of battle going on in the mind of student that why should I be going for, online classes because I want to, you know, go to France and study over there only so that I can have a life of an international student. Uh, see, it's, it's the, considering how the situation is and the relations between the two countries, the sectors which have opened, um, I mean, uh, our, our online classes are only subject to receiving the visa. It even happened last year when COVID was at the peak in September and in Jan intake, where we just uh, approve the online classes for students until it was uh, subject to their visa, you know, in India. Once they get the visa, they can fly and they surely started the classes on campus until there was a lockdown again in November. I think in end of November, beginning of December. But in that, in right. that circumstances also, the lockdown was only for the curfew hours, which was after six o'clock, the campus had to be shut. Uh, but in case there are classes which needed to happen on campus, the students were coming on campus. And if there were approval of the set of students who said, no, we are okay with the online classes, we will not be coming on campus. So we had taken the vote of our students. So any changes that have happened, we have always involved our student community to give their decision because, you know, ultimately it's their life. Even back here in India, when they were applying, every decision was very transparently shared with them. 
uh, you know, through emails, official emails, everything we even gave them late arrival letters because uh, there was delay in getting the final uh, certificates of degree from the colleges and universities. Uh, some of them had delayed in their exams. So, you know, we had given all the possible flexibilities. And of course, you know, we also gave a choice to students if they want to defer it, wait and watch and not waste their career, this opportunity, then, uh, you know, they can defer it to the next Jan intake or the next September intake or something like that. So we also gave this option so that at least they have one thing secured, maybe one year down the line or two years down the line, they have, uh, they will be definitely going and flying to France. But as, as for now, we have our student testimonials very much available on YouTube. We have four Indian students who are ambassadors for our respective programs, like Akash Sharma is for uh, MIM program. Uh, Neha Upadhyay is for fashion and luxury management. Sonali Upadhyay, her sister, is for international human resource. And Anant Upadhyay is for uh, international marketing and business development. They are our student ambassadors appointed by the school. And uh, you can check their YouTube videos on how their experience was in terms of application support from India office, how their lectures are going on. And uh, uh, we have kept this transparency of your current students. They can write to them directly and get as possible information. Uh, you know, sometimes you feel that, okay, the India represent, you know, as a representative, you may be a little pushing a little bit in terms of sales or trying to, but we are not like that. We, we have given this transparency. So that that's how we worked on it, that, you know, in long term also, if you talk to the students directly, and these are the students who went during the lockdown in India. So, you know, they, it is it is a kind of motivation, you know, that, okay, there is a hope and there is, if somebody can go, then why not I? You know, so that's that's how we worked on the plan uh, step by step, and it has worked well, thanks to the student ambassadors also. Yeah, that, you know that's that's really great, and you know when you added that these students went out during the lockdown, that that adds a lot of positivity because a couple of you know while while listening to you as a viewer when you mentioned that the 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 relationship between the between the indian government and the you know french government has always been positive and the support system that is there for each other during these covid times as well has been impeccable so so absolutely you know the students uh, who are aspiring for education to france should not be worrying on any factor uh, from your pointers when you when you you know when you mentioned so uh, the, the one one great thing is that if a student goes for online classes and gets a visa during that time, the child can fly out, right? That's 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 the best part. Then yeah. you said that a student is eligible for a deferral also, right? That's another best part. And if any of the viewers who are listening to us, you want to know more about it, we can't talk about all the things uh, at the same stretch. But if you want to know about uh, more on these aspects, you can always connect Pyramidy Services. We'll be happy to help. Yes. But if you can just, if you can just, you know, uh, uh, share uh, one one concern which is always there in the mind of student, specifically in these times, is that is, God forbids, uh, if there's a situation where I I get a refusal, or get, God forbids, if there's a situation where I have to, you know, uh, withdraw my application due to financial issue back at the home, because you know, uh, financial challenges are there for everybody. We have yes. to be realistic. So if a student plans on to withdraw, so refund policy becomes a big big uh, you know uh, concern for them so if you can just talk a bit about that that would be great okay so as per uh, as per the terms and conditions of schema we refund the money in case of visa rejection which has uh, definitely been very clear uh, even in the past and you know in past few intakes that i have uh, witnessed and everything right. so we do refund the money for that Right. Now we have situations where, you know, students uh, are and their families are getting affected due to pandemic. So uh, what we do is we are, tell them to write us an email uh, with all the letters from the hospital and everything. And we definitely write to the management team and get a refund done. But that is that is based on subject to subject it's not that you know so we check all the documents authentically okay that you know it's a genuine case where a medication is required for example uh, very recently i don't want to name the uh, name that student but uh, you know he just messaged me saying that ma'am my father is not keeping well even now so he already deferred it uh, from jan intake to september and then he wrote 
proactively like i don't want to go jan also i will go next september 22 please transfer me immediately so i mean we 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 are helpful in that way so in case anyone is affected that way please feel free to write to us with a request and sending us some proof of documents so that we can request to management because that is what the management will ask about you know because as per the refund policy mentioned in the student contract there are only three ways to refund the money one is in case of visa rejection second in case you pay the deposit and in within 15 days you want the refund and third is once you join the school and in case after one month the the, the teacher or the faculty feels that you know you're not capable to cope up with the management program then they will say please go back home we will refund you the money but in such exceptional cases once you have the proof given to us we are definitely uh, we request the management we talk to we just take the approval and it's it's done so we are definitely helpful to students in these matters also right when you when you say exceptional cases if i may add so are those exceptional cases also considered if the student has started online classes uh yeah we have to inform everything has to be you know it we have to send it that the student has already started the online classes and this much is this, but there is a circumstances and, uh, you yeah. know, so there is some decision that that agreed, has to be agreed. Every taken. Every case will yeah. have its own, uh, you know, situation and that will be considered accordingly only, but it is, it is, but you know, it's, it's really great that the college is considering these minute aspects also and making sure that every single case is valued personally and, you know, everything is checked. So that personalized touch really helps out, out a student uh, while, you know, considering education at, at, at your school. So, uh, you know, moving ahead, if, if, if I may uh, add a couple of more questions, uh, you know, we have spoken about the situation and how things are impacting France and, you know, India and then uh, uh, the school. But, but I'm, still, I'm still to ask you about Schema, though the, you know, uh, Schema Business School is one of the top recruitment uh, school of France and, you know, it's a really popular school in India as well, but it, it needs no introduction, but it would be great if you can introduce, you know, uh, Schema in a brief, though it will need a lot of time to talk about it, but if you can just, you know, share in brief about the school, the USPs, its history, the kind of programs that are available at the school, eligibility criteria, like, you know, as an Indian student, what should be my English proficiency, what should be my academic background, and also fee structure, and uh, if what kind of model the fee structure follows out. So if you can talk right. about things, that would be great. Okay, thank you. So I'm sure most of you who are right now present online, they all know about schema, but uh, uh, the full form of schema, uh, just to begin with the School of Knowledge, Economy and Management, it's actually an institution with a hundred years old history, whereas uh, schema as a name emerged from a merger of two schools, uh, Seram School of Management and ES, ESC Lille. 10 years ago. So that is how schema was merged. And still we have a hundred years old history because of those institutions being the oldest ones. Um, we grew uh, since then and expanded globally uh, apart from our three own campuses in France, one in Lille, one in Paris. Now we have our own flagship campus. It's called the Grand Paris campus uh, and the one in South France uh, in Sofia. So we have kept them in the prime locations, you know, with uh, from a lot of geographical point of view as well to enjoy the culture of three different uh, regions. And uh, also that, you know, we have uh, considered the prospect of job opportunities also in all the three regions. So that is how strategically we have located them. Uh, then we expanded to other countries where we started our own flagship campuses in uh, USA, in Raleigh, then in Belo Horizonte, in Brazil. Uh, then in South Africa, in Cape Town, we are located in China, in Shunzhou, which is a city from half an hour from Shanghai. And uh, recently, we started our own artificial intelligence uh, campus in Quebec, in Montreal. So that's how we are globally expanding with even a thought of coming up with campus in Russia and Australia, respectively, in coming future. So you will see Schema in major, major, major countries very soon. So that is Schema. Uh, coming to the ranking aspect, 
everybody does a google and they are all know about uh, the rankings of schema as well but we are into the top 10 uh, business schools globally as well as in france our degrees are internationally recognized and are in cpa certified as well which gives you the permission to uh, work for two years in france and look for job opportunities Uh, the courses that we offer are very wide variety where at bba uh, it's an undergrad program available in uh, france and in us campus uh, with wide variety of uh, around 18 or 19 specializations which you don't find it in any business schools and there is an aspect of uh, you know choosing global campuses it's not that if you go in france and you are just finishing all the four years in france we have the aspect of global mobility where the student can choose to have a two years mobility track or one years mobility track depending upon uh, you know their choice where they get to spend one year abroad in any of our flagship campuses or with the partner universities so that's how we have molded our undergrad programs as well which includes internship at the end of each year uh, giving them a basic training you know formal training on what they have studied right and uh, then coming to the post grad programs post grad programs i'll start with mim which is everybody's favorite program in india so mim it's a two years program and uh, the second year you can do a specialization in two uh, three different ways one is by doing your regular mim second is by doing an apprenticeship if you if your french proficiency is very good where in apprenticeship you work in a french company for 3 days and 3 uh, days you come to college and study so it's a paid inter- internship like again it's a paid stipend or you take one, any of our msc specializations in second year and get a double degree so that's how you can finish your mim track of course there is a requirement of gre gmat or a uh, you know cat whichever one you have given um and for mim we take our internal easy speaking test now uh, so even if you have given toefl or ielts it's fine but in case you have not given and you, you for example you have your gmat ready but uh, ielts centers are shut nowadays so we are taking this free test which is easy speaking just put us an email uh, for the request and we send this invitation on our own and you can give the exam and upload the uh, you know mark sheets on the application portal so that's about um, mim program and there is a scholarship as of now for 3000 euros for all the students who get into mim program uh, of course so you know any fresher can also apply as well as someone with work experience can also apply so that's for mim then msc we have uh, almost 21 specializations to begin with uh where, with a differing differing of two years msc program and one year msc program depending on your profile evaluation so if you are an extreme fresher student with a hardly uh, one year of work experience after graduation around one year then we will put you for a two years msc program where first year we put you into an international foundation programs uh which are ne- necessary for the management aspect for you to study and then the so second year you can take any of the special you know whichever specialization you have opted we have the global rotational campuses even for msc program so you know your first year you can choose between uh, paris and sofia for example and then second year based on specialization you can you know move to another campus as well so all those details are uh, definitely available in brochure so that's how a two years msc program works uh, one year is a very fast track program uh, dedicated to students who have 16 years of education uh, or students with around 2 or 3 years of work experience okay. so we evaluate the profiles and then we suggest them okay apply for a one year program where the first semester is very fast track and you know you are learning all the core courses followed by second semester where you will be studying your specialization and an internship mandatory internship of uh, you know 6 to 8 months or whatever you know duration the kind of contract you get so that's how our msc programs are and there is not much differences in the tuition fee except that mim is 30000 euros uh, for 2 years msc uh, if you do some regular programs it's 30000 euros if it's a specialization like global luxury and management then it's 25000 euros 
38,000 euros for international uh, investment uh, markets program. So, uh, you know, we have this list, which we can definitely, uh, you know, we give the information to the student. Everything is there in the brochure to be precise. And again, it's the minimum criteria of, you know, having first class like 60% and above. Uh, even students who have less percentage, like 55, but they have a good work experience can also apply. Uh, so it's it's not that with less percentage, you should not be eligible for schema because there is also an interview followed by your application process, which can test your personality. So sometimes I see students, you know, who are very good with their academics, but they are not good at, you know, yes. uh, talking. So, uh, you know, we, we prefer giving opportunities to every student. So it's not that if you are having 50%, 55%, still, I would say, please apply and give a chance for your good future at Schema. So, and of course, then for MSc plus students, we have scholarships also, merit-based scholarships. We have early bird scholarships, uh, depending on how early they apply. And later, we also promote the French embassy scholarships for the students, so, you know, as and when they are announced. And we encourage them to apply for the French embassy scholarships also. That's why we always insist make an early application because if we see that student cannot go for a merit-based scholarship of schema, at least they get a thousand euros of an early bird scholarship, you know, right. which is a big amount in certain ways. And then we have the merit-based excellence scholarship, which has some entry criteria of having first class first throughout your 10th, 12th and graduation. And of course, your schema interview mark should be having some requirement to you know achieve that. And then we evaluate the CV and everything. And then we give the scholarship and it is limited. But uh, early bird, you just pay the deposit at particular time before this particular duration and you get an early bird scholarship. So that's that's a big, uh, you know, uh, chunk of money which can be easily, you know, getting waived from the tuition fee. So that's, that's all about the schema programs. Uh, once you, of course, you are investing in studying, then there is an ROI in terms of looking for jobs and internship and internships are mandatory part of each and every program. So we have an excellent career and talent team, uh, which gives uh, assistance to all our students throughout the year. They organize more than 200 activities. And when I say these activities, it's not just the recruitment days where we have the human resource manager coming and taking the interviews. There are also soft skill training programs where they come and teach you, okay, how to write a CV, uh, what to write in the cover letter, how to dress up, what to speak, uh, you know, if how to give an elevator pitch. And if you are pitching for a startup, you know, they take all these mock sessions, they give you that much of right. time. So there are right. these soft skill training programs and it's all for free. Like, you know, there's nothing you have to pay additionally once it's all inclusive in your tuition fee. And yes, right. we also teach French language as a part of curriculum. So, you know, you get this opportunity to learn French as well. Uh, with your studies. So these are all the avenues where, uh, you know, Schema has uh, kept for students. There's a possibility of global rotational campus again. And students who graduate, for example, if you're graduating from Paris campus, of just exam. And if you think probably you want to go to USA for looking for a job or anything, then you can uh, inform our career and talent team. They will connect you to the talent team of uh, Raleigh campus and necessary paperwork can be done. So, you know, the assistance, this is this is the advantage of having a global campus where, you know, we will give all the possible mobility of our students to go in any part of the country because a degree is internationally recognized. Uh, so, uh, so thank you, Dharni. Thank you so much for giving an insight, quite an insight about about the school. And I hope the viewers are, who are watching us for the first time get, get more idea about the school and uh, plan their future at, at Schema Business School. But from the pointers you just mentioned and uh, uh, shared with the viewers, I have very brief questions uh, to to ask you. Obviously, the number one is I would uh, the viewers would like to know the intakes that are available at Schema Business School. When can they apply and uh, which intakes they can apply? And secondly, uh, in touch, I, I I hope I didn't miss this. Uh, if you can touch about the fee structure in you know on average for the bachelor's programs. And also, if you can, you know, just uh, uh, stress on the language proficiency. Does Schema accept? What's the IELTS proficiency accepted at Schema? Does Schema accept students without IELTS? Because this is something which you know is is going to be a very strong question and, and is always a strong question. So, if you can talk about this, that would be great. 
Okay. So coming to the intakes, we have two intakes in a year. Uh, the September fall intake and the Jan intake, which is the spring. So right. it's the it's the two intakes for your um, coming to the fee structure question. Uh, well, the undergrad program is uh, twelve thousand euros per uh, per year, uh, where we do have a scholarship of uh, uh, fifteen hundred euros as an schema excellence if you are a sports person. Uh, at a district or national level and uh, you can uh, avail a scholarship of 2000 euros per year uh, for that right. that's for the french campus if you go to study to us campus the fees is 20000 euros per 20000 uh, dollars annually uh, with a scholarship of 6000 dollars per year Wow. So, yeah, so that's for USA. Uh, coming to MIM, I already discussed it's 30,000 yep. euros sure. with a merit based or uh, with, a, with a default scholarship of 3,000 euros as of yep. now. It changes each intake. So, this year yes. it's 3,000 euros. By next year, it might change, it might not change. Uh, so, that's the three uh, thirty thousand euros for mim and if you opt for mim through the apprenticeship track you just pay thousand euros additional administrative fee um coming to msc programs uh, two years program usually cost you thirty thousand euros and right. one year should cost you seventeen thousand euros usually right. but if you take certain specializations then it's you know thirty five thousand euros twenty five thousand euros that clarity is definitely given to the students you know once we share the brochure to them but uh, general fees is two two years program is thirty thousand and a one year program is seventeen thousand with of course the choice of you know taking a global mobility uh, right, and right. Uh, again, there is a merit-based scholarship for uh, students. They apply, and uh, there is also an early bird scholarship for MSc students and undergrad students, where you know they can avail thousand euros if they pay the deposit, uh, you know, before particular deadline. So, so that's right. that's there. Uh, I I forgot I forgot your last question. You can just help the language me. proficiency, like okay, what's the, the IELTS requirement? And okay. if without IELTS is accepted. Okay. So for IELTS, we don't need an undergrad level at all. Uh, so it's it's exempted. Uh, so is for MSc programs. IELTS is exempted for Indian students. Uh, all that they can do is they can give us an exemption letter from the university or college. And they can upload it, uh, you know, in, in the application portal. Even if it's not there, it's fine because you by default, you have to choose, uh, you know, whether you're eligible for IELTS or not. So that's that's for MSc program where Indian students are exempted. For MIM, like I had discussed, it is mandatory because it's uh, the, the curriculum is designed by Conferences Grand Decol, which asks for GMAT, GRE scores and also English proficiency. And because since COVID, the test centers have been shut. So we have started our own easy speaking test, which is for free again. And uh, the student who are aspiring to go for MIM, they just need to put an email to me that uh, please send us a request of easy speaking test and I will send it. It's a simple test of uh, listening, reading, speaking and writing, where you can just go and finish the test in 45 minutes to one hour. And uh, within two days, your test results are sent to you via email and same you can upload it in your um, application portal. So that's that's the, proof, uh, the requirement for English language tests. Perfect, so, perfect. Thank you so much for sharing. So it's great to know a student can apply at 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 Schema Business School without IELTS as well. But absolutely, they need to have strong communication skills while they will be interviewed by the school as yes. well. So uh, just you know, thank you so much for adding uh, 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 such an insight and sharing so much information with us. It's really helpful. One last question for the day is. Uh, about the job opportunities uh, in, in France after education at Schema and also the part-time jobs. Is a, is a student eligible for part-time job in France and uh, uh, are there jobs available right now? So this is the last question for the day. Okay, so coming to the full-time job aspect, um, like I said, we have a very dedicated career and talent team which is assisting the students despite uh, 
uh, lockdown and uh, you know they have been motivating them on how to look for internship opportunities uh, using online platforms so we have certain number of students who have been recruited for internships despite lockdown in france right and uh, this is like officially i am saying because we did some sessions couple of weeks ago with the career and talent team uh right. so definitely there is a way where you know schema works very strongly with their partners we have around 4000 companies on our panel so definitely there is a very strong relationship that we have maintained throughout the year uh and the ranking matters the kind of education we give to the students it matters and that's why company prefer recruiting schema students over other colleges in france so th- this that's the reason why uh, of course we have an excellent uh, team which uh, you know helps the students out and uh, it's it's not just for uh, uh, the internships but even for uh, job opportunities like now the government is giving two years of uh, post study work search visa which is called aps so even during the aps period when you are in france and still looking for jobs you can contact the career team and there would be all support given if there is any activity happening in the school where they feel that you know you can connect to this person they will contact you we have a strong lm database of 48000 lms throughout the world we give that access to our students which they can use it and contact any of our lms for job opportunities and internships as well and many of our students have found uh, internships and jobs through them so uh, you know in 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 that way there is a lot of support uh definitely the student from india they go with the mentality of on campus placement which i would say please uh, you know just uh, keep this here back in india because that's how the indian business school culture is that's not the culture in europe so and definitely you know then there are these opportunities uh, student go to germany italy uh, ample of uh, opportunities are available because you can even work in europe after graduating from schema you can look for job opportunities in europe it is very easy to get a um, work visa organized for uk as well uh, you know for jobs so there are these other opportunities which you know they should learn to explore if they are really looking to uh, get an international exposure after the studies also and uh, back in india if they come back uh, there is no harm because we have so many french companies which have set up in india uh they can contact the indo french chambers of commerce who who have an excellent employment team and uh, they are assisting a lot of uh, indian students who come back from france to place in the french companies here in india on a good positions right so even if you come back you get you can definitely look for uh, working in a multinational french company here in your country also and on a good position and once you grow definitely you know there are these several opportunities given to you to look after india as a territory or neighboring countries or you know you are given you are called for training to france once or twice a year thrice a year sometimes so there are these definitely opportunities to grow now even back in country for students who are graduating from france so so that's that's about uh, the the placements of how it will work coming to the part time job opportunities there is a 20 hours of part time uh, permission that the student gets on an international student visa um now part time opportunities varies from individual to individual uh, uh you know but in france uh, what is available is okay i have a student currently who is a photographer and uh, who is doing this photography thing in france you know by making these um pre wedding photo shoots and all of you know all of that so he had already established his own contacts and started doing his own work simultaneously with his studies uh then i have another student who was in india uh, who was flying for january intake and uh, before she flew she already had her part time job with she 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 got a job as a nanny 
where she applied through an agency, submitted all her police clearance certificate and everything. And before she flew to France, she already had the job opportunity. I mean, sorry, the inter, uh, the, the part-time job opportunity. And I'm talking about the Jan intake, the current Jan intake. So in, despite COVID, she did, did get a part-time job opportunity. So definitely there are part-time jobs, depends on you know what students can look for, whether they want to work in these coffee shops or some of them are quite good at mixology, so they can work as a bar for the bartendering, uh, photography. Um, there is also caretakers, like you know how this student had done, where you become a nanny, or you teach English to French kids on a part-time basis, like a tuition thing. Uh, so there are these several several ways in which you know. You can uh, look for there, and there are these couple of students. I just heard a few days back that you know they have started the small tiffin services also for uh, students who <laughs> Indian students who are in the other cities. So you know it's wow. it's all on how you are uh, able to manage it with your studies. Yes. yes. The first point should always be that you know you're going there for studies. So as far as far as it doesn't affect your studies, yes, you are very much welcome. But if your courses are very intensive. Uh, please uh, learn to balance it out and then figure out whether you you are okay with a part-time job on because it's tiring sometimes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, you are right, <laughs> and and thank you so much for sharing uh, the 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 mindset and the, and the approach that a student should carry about while thinking about the part-time jobs and and all or the full-time jobs and it's great to know the kind of support you know France and Schema. Uh, business school is providing to the students two-year post-study uh, job search visa visa is also a great opportunity for the student if they want to you know plan uh, uh, the uh, you know start working in 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 France so a great opportunity is given to the students I think I think if a uh, if I as a as a student want to consider education uh, France will be one of the top three countries if not if not the top one so so you know it's it's really it's it's really great uh, to to know all these details from your end and uh, thank you so much for taking the time out from your from your schedule and uh, I hope the viewers who are watching us right now are able to get a better insight about about Schema Business School in France. If you want to know more about the school, if you want to study at the school, you can contact Pyramid e Services on the number that is shared below. We are the direct recruitment partners for the school, so we are authorized to recruit for them and. Uh, as you know, the pandemic has, uh, you know, brought us back to the lockdown. So we are available virtually. You can call on the number and then uh, our, our team will help you out to connect with our experts through virtual counseling. And uh, three of our offices are open as, as approved by the government. So if you are in Jalandhar, around Jalandhar, you can visit our office from nine to three. If you are uh, in Moga, you can visit our office from nine to two. And if you're in Ludhiana, you can visit our office from nine to twelve. If in case you don't plan to visit, you can always call on the number and we'll help you out. So uh, on that note, I hope everybody is keeping safe and please stay safe and healthy. And once again, thank you, Dharni, and, and please take care of yourself and uh, hope to see you soon face to face in person as well. Yeah, thank you, Amandeep. And before I close, one important thing to all the students, there is also an application fee waiver if you apply through ePyramid services. Wow. Yeah, so please take benefit of that services <laughs> very well. Uh, they are our very trusted partners since a very long time. And it was really nice, Amandeep, to, you know, to you. share the thoughts about what is going on so that, you know, the students get all the insight on this live session. Right. And we look, we as a team look forward to receiving your application and make your future at Schema Business School. Thank you, everyone. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much, Dharni. Visa for a better life.